Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft YouTube tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make League enchantments for your Minecraft worlds, servers, or realms. So I hope you guys like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's begin. Wait, legal enchants? Oh! Alright, I think I escaped the FBI, hopefully. So let me show you guys the goods. The power to open this chest, as you can see we have a netherite sword with sharpness 32,000. A netherite axe with efficiency 32,000 and a diamond pickaxe with fortune 100. Now you don't want to know what happens when I enchanted this with 32,000. Alright, now let's test this diamond pickaxe out. What the? Wait. Holy cow. Oh! So anyways, we have a diamond here. As you can see, we also have a diamond with fortune 10. So as you can see, you can also enchant regular, supposedly unenchantable items like this diamond right here with enchants as well. Or you can just give them the enchanted glow like this amethyst shard right here. As you can see, this is a regular amethyst shard and this one's enchanted but with no enchants at all. So let me show you guys the legitimacy of these tools by testing them. So let's go spawn a warden right here. So let me show you guys that we do not have other effects than night vision. But if I were to hit this warden, as you can see it's a one hit. Summon another one, one hit. So let me show you the other tools as well by going to survival. So let's go test this axe out. As you can see, cutting this oak logs, it goes very, very fast. You can see 14 logs in that span of time. Now let's test this diamond pickaxe right here. Let's go minus diamond ore. And as you can see, that is a lot of diamonds. As you can see, 49 diamonds from one ore. So as you can see, these items are very powerful. So let me show you how to obtain them. Alright, so the first step you want to do is grab the items you want to enchant. So in our case, we have a diamond sword, an emerald, and a wither skeleton skull. So I also suggest grabbing enchanted books as well on the enchants that you want to add to the items because this will make NBT editing a lot easier. So anyways, now that we have our items, let's hop into the NBT editor. Alright, now that we are in our NBT editing software, as you can see, it's called Universal Minecraft Editor. Now this is an outdated version of Universal Minecraft Tools, but the problem with that is that it is a subscription-based program. And I'm sure nobody wants to pay just to edit a few Minecraft files. And so far, there has been no problem with this one. It, the only drawback is that you can't anymore edit chunks due to the different height limits in Minecraft now. But other than that, it's a completely fine program. So what you want to do now is pick your platform. This five right here are pretty much the same thing since they are just bedrock anyways. The only difference is this PC Java right here because this is um, Java of course and the rest is bedrock. So what you want to do now is click on Windows 10 and it will give you a list of your worlds. But if you can't find your world here, what you want to do now is open this file folder icon right there and it will give you a bunch of your worlds right here so if you can't find this uh, you'll have to type it down in the directory right here so i will leave in the description a uh, copy pasteable directory to here but remember to change the username part because that can be different to any pc so i will now open my world like this select folder and as you can see the check mark meaning it's readable so open and it will give you a blank canvas like this so what you want to do now is go to view files go to database Go to local players and it will give you a bunch of this and you want to find inventory. Now if you were to drop that, it will give you a bunch of entries and this all represent your inventory. So if we were to drop this, this is the diamond sword, this one's the enchanted book, this one's an enchanted book, this one's the uh, wither skull, this one's an enchanted book, this one's also an enchanted book and this should be the emeralds. So if you want to enchant your item, all you have to do is click on this and then add this and then type its tag and then we want to do a list one and then tame it inch. And now after end, you want to add another of this. Another. Make sure it's under. So this one should be under six entries. This one should be under tags. And this one should be under the inch. So after that, all you have to do now is just add this right here. So what you want to do is now type ID and then type level. So ID basically represents what com which uh, enchant the item gets. So example zero is protection. So if you want to make sharpness, all we have to do is level nine. So it's an ID of nine. So ID 9 represents sharpness and let's go set the levels to maybe 50. So we now have a sharpness 50 diamond sword. So the reason why I wanted you guys to just get books is because you could just do this. So if you were to drop this down right here, you could just copy the entries here. So you don't have to do this anymore. You could just go copy the tags and then just paste it like this. As you can see, it now gives the tags as well. So let's delete that because we do not want double entries to our commands. So let's look for the breach one. So I want to add breach to my diamond sword. All I have to do now is just copy this and then paste it on the edge folder. As you can see, it now has two enchants. 
and now maybe I want to set it to maybe let's say breach 10 so now we have a sharpness 50 and a breach 10 diamond sword so let's try that again with our Wither Skull as well so all you have to do now is to just copy these tags right here then paste it here and as you can see our Minecraft Skull now has a tag so without having to type anything without any confusion it now has the enchant so let's say let's give it protection 20 so let's add another enchant let's go to inch go to entries and as you can see we now have an id5 we want that so we just copy this and then paste it right here so now we have horns 3 so maybe let's set it to horns 10 so as you can see we now have a protection 20 horns 10 enchanted skull So now let's go to the enchanting an item without actually enchanting it. Maybe you just want it to glow. So what you want to do is just copy this tag right here, paste it like this, and then just remove the entries. So you'll have an inch with zero entries. So basically this is what Minecraft detects to give an, an, an item the enchantment glint. So if you want to just make the item glow, you just have to do this with zero entries. And this will make our emerald item glow without actually enchanting it. So if you're pretty satisfied with the enchantments you put on your items, all you now have to do is just click on the save icon right here and if we open our world, the enchants should be there. Which uh, enchant the item gets. So example 0 is protection. So if you want to make sharpness, all we have to do is level 9. So it's an ID of 9. So ID 9 represents sharpness and let's go set the levels to maybe 50. So we now have a sharpness 50 diamond sword. So the reason why I wanted you guys to just get books is because you could just do this. So if you were to drop this down right here, you could just copy the entries here. So you don't have to do this anymore. You could just go copy the tags and then just paste it like this. As you can see, it now gives the tags as well. So let's delete that because we do not want double entries to our commands. So let's look for the breach one. So I want to add breach to my diamond sword. All I have to do now is just copy this and then paste it on the edge folder. As you can see, it now has two enchants. And now maybe I want to set it to maybe let's say breach 10. So now we have a sharpness 50 and a breach 10 diamond sword. So let's try that again with our Wither Skull as well. So all you have to do now is to just copy these tags right here. Then paste it here. And as you can see, our Minecraft Skull now has a tag. So without having to type anything without any confusion, it now has the enchant. So let's say let's give it protection 20. So let's add another enchant. Let's go to Ench, go to Entries, and as you can see, we now have an ID5. We want that. So we just copy this and then paste it right here. So now we have Horns 3. So maybe let's set it to Horns 10. So as you can see, we now have a Protection 20, Horns 10, and Enchanted Skull. So now let's go to the enchanting an item without actually enchanting it maybe you just want it to glow so what you want to do is just copy this tag right here paste it like this and then just remove the entries so you'll have an inch with zero entries so basically this is what minecraft detects to give an item the enchantment glint so if you want to just make the item glow you just have to do this with zero entries and this will make our emerald item glow without actually enchanting it so if you're pretty satisfied with the enchantments you put on your items, all you now have to do is just click on the save icon right here and if we open our world, the enchants should be there. Alright, so as you can see, it is now in our inventory. As you can see, we have a diamond sword with sharpness 50 and breach 10 and then a wither skull with protection 20 and points 10. So let's test out this sword on a warden. As you can see, it's a functional warden. Let's see how many hits it takes. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you can see it takes 5 critical hits to kill a warden. See how much damage it has. It has 69 attack <laughs> 69. So anyways, as you can see, it's a pretty simple thing to do. So I hope this helps you in your world, servers, or realms. And I hope you guys like and subscribe. And without further ado, goodbye.